idea how excited I am because this came in the mail today. Now, I know what you're thinking, wow, a yellow satchel, what could be in it? Well, let me tell you, it's gonna get real. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. So I bought an LPS online and today we're going to review it. So let's get right on that. So we've got my scissors and I'm ready to open it. such a small thing. I hope she's not damaged or anything. So, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm scared to look at her face. Oh my gosh. I can't. Oh my gosh, I can't. because I saw people get her and they were getting like lucky like awesome authentic savannas and they looked really good and then I get mine <sighs> you know what I'm just so over it <laughs> oh my gosh I didn't want oh my look at her head oh my gosh I honestly don't know what I was expecting to be honest she's okay now from, I'll put a picture here of the original Savannah and what she's meant to look like. Now, the camera doesn't do her justice, but her face looks fine, but in person, her face looks squished. I will turn it, there you go. You can see her face is squished, and that this means that's the second kind of seller that exists. So, that means that they attempted to make this pet and failed miserably. So I will not be purchasing from this seller ever again. Um, this was just a look at the draw because I really wanted this pet. Um, but if you have this pet, please let me know if you're willing to give her, like, sell her. I'm totally willing to um, buy her if you're not going to scam me or anything like that. Because let's face it, this is my dream up, yes. This cat right here, my second mascot, or third or whatever, is my second dream LPS. This cat right here is going to get customized. <laughs> now I actually needed a pet to customize for a new series that I will be coming that will be coming out. Uh, this is the perfect pet. Now as you can tell. Okay, let's do let's do a in-depth uh, review on this fake Savannah lead. I just call her Savannah Reed or Dash Hound 675. Okay, so on the camera she looks great because of the lighting. But here you can see that. Please focus camera. There we go. So as you can see, uh, the camera doesn't do it justice. Okay, here. I'll put it on the side. You can see her arch here is way too down. It needs to be more up here. And her face. It looks it's squished so here you can see that basically what it looks like from the front and her paw color is way too dark from what her chest is and her head is like very like flat and it's just her eyes are too small they need to be a little bit bigger uh, honestly the paint looks fine it's just it looks her face looks too matte it, it just doesn't look real, um, but the camera does like, if you were looking at this pet from here, or on a camera, personally, I can't tell the difference, but looking at it in person, I can totally tell that it's fake. Okay, let's compare it to an LPS. I have the perfect LPS to compare this to, so let's compare her to the one and only Brooke. 
As you can see, these pets are very different. My book is very chip. She has a chip um, ear. But as you can see, she has a very distinct bubble to her. This LPS doesn't. That's another clear indication. Another clear indication is that she has a white peg. And that she doesn't have Hasbro. She Oh, they have Hasbro on the bottom of her. As you can see, but it's clearly not a Hasbro pet. They probably got the bottom from, like, a pet. And then they used the dumb head. Like, why couldn't you give me the head and a fake body? That's, I wouldn't have cared. I just hit my blind. <laughs> Let's compare it to another. Let's compare it to my mascot. So, you can see that the mold on the bottom is fine. Just the coloring is a little different. The head, this part is shiny. And it shouldn't be shiny. It should be a matte. And then the eyes are like a, the same finish. They should be completely glossy. Now this, I, as again, on the camera, this looks fine. It looks completely fine. Now, another thing that you can see is if I turn this pet, her face right here, if you can, whoa, <laughs> if you can see that, her mouth, it just doesn't look right. And of course she's got a, you know, a hole. Yeah, but this fake, this pet is totally fake, and I don't recommend getting it from this seller. I'll leave a link to the seller in the comments if you want to check it out to make sure you don't buy from her, or them, or it, or whoever they are. So all in all, I would conclude that this LPS is fine for someone who just doesn't really care and just wants a good quality LPS that's not really caring if it's fake. This is the one for you. If you're like me and actually want a good pet that you're not caring to go to lengths to get a fake one as long as it looks good, this is probably the one not for you. Because I I really want an authentic one, but they're selling for so much. This pet, however, it's just not meeting my standards. I probably will customize her because, you know, let's face it, Dachshund do the best. <laughs> no. But I'll do this, I'll do the walk, I call it. So like it just doesn't have that, like, bobble, like, you know, okay, you know on the show, I'm just comparing it to LPS Popular because it's obviously her pet, so on LPS Popular, the way Savannah runs is like, you know, like, her feet bobble along and everything, this pet doesn't have it, so you can definitely tell that the peg is very secure on her head, and she has, like, you can flick around her body, it just doesn't make any sense. So yeah, all in all, I would suggest not getting this pet. But honestly, I'm not too sad. It's just this peak here, if you didn't have that, it would look fine. It really would. See, like, if I get rid of... I got rid of the peak with my finger, and it, just, it looks fine. Bring it back, it looks weird. Put my finger on it, it looks fine. Bring it away, it looks weird. It's just the way... I don't know. I might keep her normal, but I think I might customize her and get rid of the feet paws. I don't know. Leave a comment down below, and I want to see your guys' suggestions, and what you think I should do for this pet, because I have an idea, and I'm definitely going to go through with it, um, but I just want to hear you guys and see what you think. Just leave a comment. Hey guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video, and to see more unboxing and reviews, because I will be doing a lot more. Make sure to ring the bell so you don't miss when I post my new series. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Bye!